Good morning, everyone. My name is Amal Nargudkar. I'm the CEO of Patient Prism. And uh, we're back in our studios again, uh, recording um, another important topic uh, during this, this COVID series that we have launched at Patient Prism. And today's topic really is talk about patient financing in light of what's happening with COVID. And, and we have with us my dear friend, Louis Draganetti uh, from Green Sky Financial. And he is um, their vice president of healthcare sales. Uh, and he's helped hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of practices around the country uh, before COVID, obviously during this crisis as well, uh, to, to ensure that patients who need the treatment uh, that they deserve are able to afford that in, in a meaningful way. And Green Sky has done some incredible work, especially during the pandemic, uh, to make treatment more accessible and more affordable uh, to more patients. Uh, Lewis is a, uh, actually has a, a, a phenomenal dental background. He was an executive coach with one of our favorite companies, Fortune Management. Um, he's one of the he's worked with all the key opinion leaders in, in the industry. Uh, he also spent some time at Lending Club before joining Green Sky in 2017. So, Lewis, um, I'm delighted to have you. Finally, we got this done. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here with all of you. Um, the question I have for you right off the bat is, you know, obviously this crisis has, has really changed the way we think about stuff. Um, so from, from your standpoint, I know you guys are one of the big financing companies out there for patient financing. What trends are you noticing as a result of this pandemic? Well, you know, um, to start off, some of the trends that we've been noticing is a lot, a lot of the doctors, they're struggling with, you know, capacity at the office. You know, given, you know, this pandemic, a lot of patients are, you know, reluctant to come in. Um, also, you know, with a whole topic of PPE, you know, new protocols, um, you know, they have to basically redefine the way they practice. So what we've noticed is that a lot of these dentists, they're embracing technology a lot more as a way of communicating with the patients prior to coming in to the office. Some of these um, technology platforms include telemedicine platforms, um, you know, um, dental chat platforms where they can communicate prior. Um, so basically what we've noticed is that the communication with the patient has taken um, an evolution. You know, telemedicine platforms have always been around, but I think um, given the pandemic, a lot of dentists are realizing that, hey, this is the way to go, you know? So we've seen that, we've definitely seen a shift from a technological standpoint to embrace those modes of communication. Also, we have seen a change in the way they operate in terms of, you know, the working hours. We've seen a lot of doctors have opted into extended hours. Also, you know, opening up during the weekends because of childcare. We've all been dealing with this, having the children at home, the summer camps are closed down, schools, you know, being closed and whatnot. Um, you know, they need to accommodate to the, to the consumer. So basically what we've noticed is that, you know, it's been challenging, but you know, they've been resilient. So we've seen a change in the way they operate. So to accommodate to that, what we've done on our end, we've also extended our customer service hours to accommodate to the extended hours. And we've also looked for ways to integrate with those technology platforms. Wonderful. So, so they've made changes in terms of communication and that's great to hear. It's music to our ears, right? Because that, that's the platform we're in or in the process, you know, we believe in com optimal communication on the phone, but, but all those protocols have to be changed because, you know, patients are scared. Uh, what, what do you see in terms of revenue trends? Uh, uh, are, are practices coming back with a bang? Uh, what do you see with your, you know, you guys deal with lots of high-end uh, dental practices across the country? Sure. So, um, you know, we've been surprised uh, that the man is there and that consumers do want to move forward with, uh, with their elective procedures. So we've seen that a lot of the dentists that offer cosmetic procedures, um, they've seen an uptick in business, okay? Some of it might, might be an overflow of everything that was scheduled prior to the pandemic, but the consumer is hungry and they want to get out there and they want to move forward with, with the procedure. So we, we have seen that a lot of doctors are experiencing a lot of growth during these times, which is um, obviously beneficial for everyone. And, and obviously you guys have a role to play in here, right? Because um, for, 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 for many, many years, you guys have helped patients afford that, uh, afford that treatment. And, and, and now given the economic uncertainties, um, it becomes even a harder conversation sometimes to say, hey, do I have 5,000, $10,000 to shell out for a treatment that I absolutely need, right? 
I need it for my own health, not just for aesthetics, but I need it for my health. And how do I get to afford that? So tell us what Green Sky is doing uh, specifically to help uh, patients as well as doctors kind of navigate some of the financial challenges that are, that are presenting themselves. Sure. Uh, as you mentioned, a lot of consumers nowadays are going to be less willing to tap into their own bank accounts. So I think, you know, third party financing as a whole, we're going to see that a lot more dentists are going to embrace it. Um, it's no longer going to be an afterthought. It's no longer going to be the last part of the process. I think it now becomes in the forefront. As I previously mentioned with the issue of um, reduced capacity, you know, dentists, they want to make sure that that office visit is efficient. So the way to ensure that is to make sure that they're always talking about, you know, ways to afford the proposed treatment beforehand. So some of the things that we've been doing here at Green Sky, we've partnered with several tech companies and, you know, we have robust API capabilities. So what we're doing is to integrate into various platforms, such as the telemedicine platform, practice management software platforms, um, payment facilitators. So we're using our technology to embed our platform in others so that patients prior to walking into the office, they have access to those payment plans. So I'll give you an example. Let's say you are a doctor and you are leveraging some type of telemedicine platform and you're having a discussion with your patient. One of the unique things that we're doing recently, we've embedded our pre-qualification functionality into those platforms so that while you're having the conversation with your patient, you can tell them, hey, why don't you go ahead and pre-qualify yourself? This doesn't impact your credit and it will allow you to know what's available for you. This is going to reduce a lot of the stress around the financing. Okay. It's going to help the doctor secure his schedule. And it's also going to allow the consumer to feel comfortable enough to going into the practice, knowing that it's covered. Yeah, it makes so much sense. I mean, um, we've, we've talked to people, experts across the, across the industry and, and the importance of filling up the schedule uh, in the next few months is so, um, uh, so valid today because you want to make sure you get back to the, the normal, uh, your 100% or even more than that, what, what you did before. You know, dentistry was having a phenomenal year until this hit, right? And, and you want to get back to that. And, and part of that process is, is also reactivating your patients with, who have unscheduled treatment. And what a great way would it, would it be that you can call the, when you're calling the patients for a reactivation and saying, sir, hey, we, we proposed to you a, 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 an implant a couple of months ago. We're ready to see patients again. By the way, uh, we partnered with Green Sky and we can do a quick uh, pre-qualification, get you all approved, no money down right now, come on in. And, and, and we can start the treatment now so that you don't wanna get that deteriorated Right, because obviously in the dental implant world, which you guys do a lot, you know, bone only deteriorates right over a period of time. So, so you need healthy bone, and and, and the importance as you're conveying the importance of urgency, uh, it would be great to use your pre-qualification tool uh, to really get these people reactivated, saying, hey, it's safe to come here. We've got the PPE, we've got all the uh, necessary control tools, but we also have a great way for pre-qualifying you so it, it doesn't cause uh, any any problems with your finances. So are you seeing, that, are you seeing uh, some practices use that as a reactivation tool, the pre-qualification? Absolutely, absolutely. So, you know, where before, like I previously mentioned, where before they didn't put so much an, an emphasis on the financing, now they're realizing like, hey, there's opportunity here. Why not leverage this tool that we have available to us as a way to facilitate that conversation with the patient. And ultimately the goal is to explore, right? You want the patient to feel comfortable enough to come in and explore their options with you. So, the, you know, the pre-qualification tool and the idea of no impact to the credit removes a lot of that anxiety around financing because let's face it, nobody wants to impact their credit, you know, and then given the current circumstances, I mean, everyone's in a tough position. So leveraging that tool, in a seamless matter is a sure way to start the conversation and jumpstart some type of treatment with the patient. I mean, we almost need to come up with, uh, you know, a new protocol about how do we communicate to clients about money. And, 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 and over 4 million calls we have analyzed at Patient Prism and, and I, I would say at least 30% of them uh, don't get scheduled because money is a concern. 
right? Okay. And money is a concern for all of us, right? It's, it doesn't you know, grow on trees or fall from the sky. Uh, we got to kind of have our budget and our, our finances and our cash flow managed. And, and obviously, uh, at, at the same time, we need to make sure that we're taking care of our health. And, 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 and I think, uh, I think, you know, with third party financing with, 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 with folks like you, uh, now patients can, you know, uh, can get the treatment they deserve, but also dentists can quickly rebound uh, from where they, you know, they, they lost two months and then they need to get back onto, on, onto that stuff. So what, what have you seen this in, in, at Green Sky where uh, certain dental practices have actually leveraged this new communication around financing to quickly snap back into where they used to be? Absolutely. Marketing, 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 right? It's all how we market to the patient. The average patient doesn't understand why they need $5,000 for straight, straight teeth, but they could relate to $60 a month. So as a tool to drive traffic into the practice, what we coach our practices on doing is to leverage our extended payment plans to break down treatments into low affordable monthly payments. So from a marketing standpoint, when everybody's advertising Invis Invisalign for five, $6,000, when you're able to tell the same consumer, hey, we can take care of it with a monthly payment between 60 and $80, that is the key. The key is to get that patient into your practice. So the practices that are doing it well, and the ones that have been very successful, they've been leveraging our extended payment plans and taking some of our guidance. And they've been, you know, their, their most profitable treatment plans and the ones that they always go to whether it's implants, Invisalign, they start to market more on that monthly payment. And when you think about it, that's, that's you know, consumer behavior one-on-one. -on -one. Everything we do in our lives is based on that monthly payment. It's like the Mercedes-Benz. Imagine if we were looking at that Mercedes-Benz commercial and they would tell you, Mercedes-Benz, $65,000, come get yours. Who goes and gets the Mercedes-Benz? Nobody, right? But they tell you it's four ninety nine. dollars so same concept, right? To remove some of that, you know, financial stress, to remove some of those preconceived notion that insurances are going to cover everything. You know, if you start to market based on affordability and flexibility of payment, this is a sure way to drive more traffic into the practice. And, and you know, it also helps with, uh, you know, case presentation, right? Because obviously um, having that integrated conversation whether it's your treatment plan coordinator or hygienist or whoever it is, um, you know, um, having this finance conversation while you're presenting a case, uh, I think helps solidify, I think reduce anxiety, reduce fears, um, and, and, and then really get them to accept it. Is there anything that you've seen in terms of like, uh, like hacks or financing hacks that you can use a verbiage around case acceptance that, that, that you've seen work successfully in green sky practices. Absolutely. So with case acceptance, preparation is key. And what I mean by that, you know, it is important that all of the team members hammer home the idea of affordability and flexibility of payment and in all interactions with the patient. You're going to notice that perhaps it's a, you know, a front desk team member or a hygienist, you know, naturally, us human beings, we build good relationships with certain types of individuals. So what we coach our teams is to always remind the patient that there's an affordable way to move forward with treatment, that you are committed to making it happen for them. Okay, so some of the financing hacks that we can share with you guys is to be prepared. Know exactly what the estimated monthly payment is going to be for the proposed treatment plan beforehand. Okay. So instead of, you know, just going out there and focusing on the total cost, why not start with the potential of a low monthly payment and slowly usher your patient to the total? So for example, if you had a $6,000 treatment, I could tell you, well, Mo, to make, you know, give you that beautiful smile, your treatment is going to cost $6,000. At that moment, I lost you. Because now right. you're fixated on the fact that you need $6,000 to get this beautiful straight teeth, right? Now, if I take a different approach and I said, hey, Amal, we have wonderful payment options that we can explore and your monthly payment can be as low as $89 a month. Why don't we go down this journey together? You see what I did right there? I removed the anxiety. Okay, I started it with a feasible, affordable monthly payment and then slowly but surely, I will take you to the total. You know, so the approach is not to sell anything. It's just to facilitate what the patient truly wants. 
You know, um, and, and, and people have thought about different approaches uh, to, to how do you optimally present cases. And I think financing is, is such a big component of that. Um, I know you guys have also, um, you know, worked with a lot of extending the terms. I mean, I think you guys have, uh, I think one of the longest terms out there uh, in terms of, you know, uh, financing over a period of time. So what kind of terms do you guys work with currently? Uh, what's the shortest and what's the longest? So we have a deferred interest options ranging from six to 24 months. And then we have extended on risk-based plans ranging from 24 all the way up to 90 months. Depending on the transaction size, we do make um, those plans available to the consumer uh, to make those larger treatments affordable. And, and to be honest with you, that, that has been um, part of our great success is in our ability to accommodate to the larger treatments. So by offering the consumer installment loans, you know, for 90 months, even a $25,000 treatment, um, we can make it extremely affordable. Absolutely. And, and, and I think that's the key. A lot of folks don't realize, you know, at the end of the day, if you need to get something done, you need to get it done. And, 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 and managing your cash flow sometimes becomes more important. Um, and, and the longer terms, I like them a lot. Um, obviously, you can always prepay, right? Um, there, there, there's no problem with somebody saying, okay, I, I, got, a, I got a bonus, I can pay it off. Uh, there's never any restrictions on that. Yeah, absolutely. There's never a prepayment penalty in any of our plans. The, the faster the consumer uh, pays off, the more they're going to save on, on interest. Um, also, for these extended, um, extended payment plans, it does allow the practice to enroll the patient in optimal care. You know, a lot of times, you know, because of this whole conversation around money, treatment coordinators are not comfortable with presenting the, the optimal treatment care plan, and they start to phase it out. As you previously mentioned, you know, the longer you take to render services, the more complications there's going to be. So in the long run, what we've noticed for the consumer, it becomes more expensive. So by leveraging these longer terms, what we are enabling practices to do is to allow the patient to say yes to the best treatment plan possible so that they can receive those services in a timely manner, which in the long run has a, a better uh, clinical outcome. Um. So talk to us, I mean, I'm gonna maybe put you on the spot a little bit, but um, uh, as far as approvals go, right? Um, what is it, um, do, do people need perfect credit uh, to get approved? Uh, or, or they can be, I mean, I'm not saying, you know, they need it in the low 600s, but, but what, you know, what kind of range of approvals people expect and what kind of range of credit score? Because I know it's based really on the FICO. Um, what, 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 do, sure. what can patients accept you know, in terms of approvals? So, you know, we get that question on a daily basis. So, you know, there's various factors that go into the underwriting of a consumer loan. It's not just FICO scores, you know, consumer trends, behaviors. You know, you can be a 700 credit score on the way down or you can be a 660 on the way up. I mean, so there's various factors that affect approvals. What I can tell you is that our approvals are comparable to market standard where we do showcase our abilities is our ability to meet the ask in the accommodation rates. Um, so basically when the consumer is a prime consumer and is credit worthy, not only can we offer them longer terms, but we can also offer them lower APRs, which okay. we all know is a pain point. So, you know, a lot of practices don't like to leverage the extended payment plans offered by other lenders because some of these plans have a fixed APR that might be perceived as too high for a consumer that can get a single digit APR with one of their credit cards. So, you know, for the more credit worthy consumer, we are offering them lower APRs, which also increases the conversion rates at the practice. Because the lower the APR, the more affordable the payment, um, the higher the case acceptance. So you're telling me that Green Sky is not this one size fits all solution, right? It, you're gonna kind of calibrate even the APR, because sometimes you go out there and I, I agree with you, you know, you go out to consume, you know, financing companies and it's one rate, right? No matter what the term is, no matter what, you got 800 or, or 600, it's the same exact rate. And, and it seems almost unfair. Uh, you know, if you have 800 and you have good income um, and, 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 and for you to pay 15% versus like a, a, like a, a single digit one, it seems unfair, right? Um, so, so it's encouraging to know that, um, you guys are flexible with the APR 
uh, especially when, when it comes to certain prime, prime customers. Um, what can um, dentists do um, to really, um, what kind of puts you in a different spot than everybody else out there? There's lots of people out there in this space, we know that, right? In the last few years, it's been like, you know, my God, I go to these trade shows and I see, oh, there's four or five more companies doing uh, uh, consumer uh, patient financing. Uh, what really puts uh, Green Sky in a different, um, uh, what's, what's different about you guys? We're like, why, why choose you guys? Sure. So Green Sky, we have two different types of platforms that we can leverage to accommodate to the business model of the healthcare provider. So if you're a low ticket recurrent, you know, recurring type of model, our revolver platform is the way to go. Our revolver platform is more like um, the care credit, um, you know, consumer credit card. And then we also have the installment loan platform, which is better for your oral surgeons, you know, for the full arch cases. So depending the need, we have two different platforms that it can accommodate um, to what's needed. So basically with our revolver platform, one of the unique features about our revolver platform is that it's a closed network, which means that any individual that gets approved at your practice can only use that account at your practice or any practice affiliated with you. This is a great feature of our, our, our platform because it allows you to build the fence around your patient. So when you start to think about what is the average acquisition cost of a patient, you know, you ask, you know, and we've worked with several DSOs, it's somewhere around four to five hundred dollars per patient. Wow. The lifetime economics of this patient is over fourteen thousand dollars. So when you ask yourself the question, well, I'm spending all this money to bring the patient into the practice, to walk them to a financial protocol, to get them approved, only to find out they use their credit card elsewhere. It's a tough pill to swallow. So with our Revolver uh, platform, having that functionality of, of a closed network has allowed us to integrate with a lot of providers and help them protect their, their consumer base. So Louis, this is some great information. Um, what's a way for people to contact you? And we're gonna leave this information on the screen here uh, and, 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 and contact you and get more information about, about getting you guys set up within the practices. Absolutely, they can contact me directly or they can contact one of our team members. They can visit um, greensky.com forward slash healthcare uh, where they can um, get further information on how to enroll their practice. And, and, and I think you can, you can help them guide through the process, right? The consultative process is something that you guys have, you pride on. And, and I encourage all of you guys, the information for Lewis is up on the screen here. A contact team is very helpful uh, and he'll guide you. Even if he's not doing business with you, he'll still guide you anyway. Uh, which is something that I've enjoyed working with you over the last few years about. So um, thank you so much for spending time with us and, and educating our consumers and our, our, our base on, on what Green Sky is doing to really get practices back on track and, and really get these treatments uh, financed in the most affordable way. Thank you again, Louis. Uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Thank you for having me.